Lens right here on Metro FM CGE hanging out with Gemini Majors called Lifestyle 26 after 1 o'clock. Metro FM is where you're at. Zaziwa, the story continues. Who's going to take us to the uh, the TV show? I'll give um, Dada Don the honors. Okay, Can so you, you still remember the TV show? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you still remember what you guys were talking about, what you covered, and uh, uh, some of the uncomfortable questions she was posing. No, nothing I think there. most of the the topics were motivated by songs that we yes. selected on the show. Yeah. Yes. I remember Brighty Masikela Simela. I think it was oh. Brighty when you know some of the songs they I selected they couldn't uh, they didn't have them so they had to replace them with some youth youth names and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So some but of the songs I can't but remember, but the the song that I remember is Masikela Simela. Steamer. Steamer. And that motivated the topic that we spoke about, basically. Yes. All right. So you... And we on, took, refresh, we refresh took him memory. back to the Scooties Mike days. We played you a clip from... Where's Where that bet? Uh, <laughs> as a police <laughs> officer, we leave the gun at the police station. So, <laughs> so yeah. the bet is left with the production house. But there was a there was a great character as well. You should have oh, just yeah. given that bet a name. Because every time you came through to, to knock on that door with that bet, they knew, ah, we have to pay Oh, yeah, 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 that was a great character. Though. Yeah, sure, how, how did you fall in love with, with the art of acting? Mm, I, I got into it in the, in the industry by accident. Actually, I was a soccer player. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, you See, know, this is what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I got into okay. the industry by accident. Actually, I was a soccer player. The next school, you know, during those days, in the early 70s, we... At school, everyone would be compelled to go to a show that is written by a teacher, yeah. students acting there. Mm -hmm. And some of the guys I was with, I grew up with, where one of the guys was actually part, part of the cast. Mm -hmm. And I watched him perform and said, ah, if he can do it, I can do it too. Wow. And the following week, I joined the cast and that was it. And, and then I got into the industry. And then you gave up the soccer boots. Yeah, the but soccer wasn't paying that much then. <laughs> oh, oh if, if, it was, if it was now, would you have made the same decision? <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> we would have gone for something instead of acting. Yeah. Why is that? Um, the, the, I would say uh, today you have more opportunities as compared to the time when, uh, during our era when we grew up. Yeah. So with soccer, it's more, more. There's more exposure today. There are more opportunities. I would say you, you can even go overseas without playing in our local uh, super league. Mm, mm. Mm. So indeed, it, it wasn't the case. Yeah. Have you ever come across a, a character that? You know, you you accepted, you played, but you you didn't really connect with like some of the challenges that you've come across in the industry. Yeah, yeah. There is a character which, I which one for is a it? long time, and I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's the character you did for uh, the longest. Yeah, I hated that character. Is there a reason why you you? you, you it was I don't want to use the word hate. Yeah, it was almost close to my personality. Oh, okay. so that's why I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> we're like, hold oh, on, what is going on? How do you And, and so that's long? why you played him so well. And I was close to, <laughs> close to my real character, yeah. And that was from 98 to 2014? 2014, yes. Yeah, but there was a lot of, um, I don't want to say drama, I don't want to say misunderstanding as well. There, was a lot of, there, were, uh, there were lots of talks um, around why you left ICD. At that time, mm -hmm. and one of the stories that were flying around w was that um, you know you were tasked with um, with doing something on the show that you didn't feel was okay. You felt you needed to be paid for going over and above what you signed up for. Mm -hmm. Is 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 that true? Yes, it is true. Yeah. So do you feel do you feel like actors are exploited in the country? Very much so. Very much so. And until we as actors unite and. Uh, become one voice and and present a united front will still be exploited even after 10 years from now mm. it's, a, it's an, a very unfortunate situation mm. um, it's very sad um, because uh, we look at let's not uh, focus on my on my personal experience with okay. sitting and some other thing. You look at the generation case where sixteen actors had to lose their jobs, yeah. and some South African actors went whew, in droves for auditions. Now that, that tells you something that is, there is no unity in the mm. industry. Because if we as actors could sort of form an organization that would sort of represent actors, actors are all artists. That would represent, um, 
because here you lose your job today, somebody else takes your job tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. Um, with this thing, it was the same thing. Uh, we left and they presented a new story to the SAPC and whoever at the SAPC bought that story, they replaced our characters with some characters and it never went. Mm. Mm. It's unfortunate. I don't know. So it's just about, you know, working together uh, as a unit, as actors, so that's that we can see, uh, see the way forward. That's what I advocate. We, we need to unite as actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> look, there are many challenges in this country, especially mm -hmm. in our industry. It's mm -hmm. quite a lot of challenges, and some people, but mm -hmm. some people got, get into the industry the other way around, mm -hmm. so they don't understand the nitty gritties or the challenges that one can face. Mm -hmm. Because you can be famous for three, four years, or five years mm -hmm. in succession. After seven, after the sixth year or the seventh year, oh. things go down, mm -hmm. and then now to voila, no one wants to work with you again. Mm -hmm. So it, it, we need to find a way. You know, there's a friend of mine who who was uh, uh, who was involved in uh, Lion King mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. uh, she spent about ten years of her life doing that in America. She's protected up to today. She wow. can go back. She goes to other um, productions, same uh, uh, Lion King. She could move to Italy or Australia or mm. any other, but she is protected. Mm. Mm. But in this country, actors are not protected. You are not. No, we all by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Look at me, I'm 57. Mm -hmm. 57 of age, and I have to pay the taxman as long as I'm employed, but mm -hmm. the taxman doesn't look after me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yes, can be unemployed as an actor for seven or ten years, I mean ten months, mm -hmm. unemployed. Immediately you get a job or a commercial, the commercial pays you two million, you have to give a, a certain percentage to the taxman. Where was mm -hmm. the taxman when I was unemployed? Mm -hmm. So some, those are some of the things that you have to look at and work around that mm -hmm. as actors. Challenge. I'm sorry, I'm not here to put it. No, but no, <laughs> no, no but, but it's, it's uh, that needs to had. Yes, of course. It's, it's something that uh, we need to talk about. I mean, you know, people just, especially now that uh, we advocate, you know, inspiration to the youth, yeah. especially, you know, and some of them are, are looking at you guys in the industry right now and they want to be like you or better than you. So, how about we tell them the truth before they yeah. get in so they know yeah. what they get in themselves into? Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what we, we advocate every single time on this yeah. show. And thank you so much for raising that point. We appreciate it. Sure, sure. Yeah, no.